Right guys, we're gonna start this video here. We're down outside zombies again. Uh, we're just so busy at the moment with getting this. We've got to get onto it now uh, because we're planning to open on the 15th. Hopefully, hopefully. I, I'm not sure if we're gonna make it to be honest with you. Because although it's looking it's looking quite good now, but there's still the, it's the last bits that sort of take the time. So we've got to go off uh, in a moment and order all the neon signage what we're going to put up in here. I've just seen the architect. He's saying 10 days to two weeks. So that doesn't fill me with confidence, I'll be honest with you. Um, but I think we can we can push it, we can push it. Um, like I said, there's not a great deal to do now. Well, there is, but it's just them final final touches. Uh, I think things like the signage, the neons, the last bit of paintwork's got to be done. The bar's got to be built, the shelving. Um, the sink unit's got to be put in. So there is quite a bit to be done, but he's got more bodies here. So hopefully um, by the end of this week, we're looking pretty good. Uh, and then hopefully by sort of mid next week, we can do the big clean out, uh, which has got to be jet blasted. You know, the, the, this tiles we put down when we originally did Looper. So they were already in, but obviously there's been a lot of work going on them. They do clean up nice. They just take a lot of work. So. When that happens, I will get a team of cleaners to come and hammer it out. The upholstery at the back end has got to be done. So that's not done yet. It's not gone as far as I thought at this moment. But we're here now to give it a big kick up the eyes. Right, next place we've got to go to. We've got to go to the sign place. I've got to go to the stool place as well. Make sure they're coming next week. Um, and pay a deposit on them. So let's go. Now, for those of you coming out here soon for the, um, the peak season, which roughly starts around about December the 15th, um, got some more bad news they've actually started again digging up second road but this time it's it's right outside the base condo here yeah i'm just looking at that, that minibus there that looks like zombies color <laughs> it's um a bit chaotic i'll just show you in a minute as the truck goes past so this is where they started digging up right outside here look at this and they're putting massive drains in there so what happens is the traffic is going from four lanes down to two lanes right outside the base. And there are the, the drains they're doing. They're putting massive drains in. So, good time to start it, yeah? Right on high season. Uh, there's somebody asking me the other day, and it was you, let's go Brandon. <laughs> you want to know where the stool place was? Um, it's here on South Patea Road. This is one most places use. Unfortunately with ours, we're gonna be running, we did order them two weeks ago, but Dan, Dan, the cameraman, forgot to bring the deposit, so they haven't ordered them. So now again, we're in a big rush. Um, so they've got to be delivered by the 14th. So they should be okay now, they said it'd be all right. But now they've got the deposit, they'll be happy. Not cheap, guys. Um, I, I was telling uh, Brandon, don't go for 700, 750 baht each. You've got to go a little bit more because we did it last year and they, they, they lasted just over a year. So they had to be replaced in um, Hook Up Corner. So, always pay that little bit extra. Right, let's get some food. Now, I haven't been here for a good while. I think it's September, uh, sorry, April, the last time we came here. Uh, it's the shack here on Second Road. Um, it's, they say they've got the best burgers in um, Thailand. It has been backed up by quite a few people, but we do know the owner, uh, Chase. He has been coming to our bars regularly. So what I thought is I'd go in here, show you this place again. They do food's fantastic, mate, the guys. His meats come from Australia. It is of good quality. And I think he's doing really well. Now, if you come around here, Dan, this, this place, if you remember, there was a place here next door. And I thought we might be able to pop in there as well. It looks closed. I don't know what's happened there. It, basically, this was a very high-end cocktail place. And I think there was like five or 600 bar for a cocktail. Is that the place, Dan? Yeah, I think it's open. Oh. So they've got newspaper up on there. Well, that looks secret, doesn't it? <laughs> no, I don't think it's open. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll just go into the shack in there. I'm not sure what I'll have, probably a burger. Here we go. Right, now we just want a burger. Um, so I've, I've, we've gone for two burgers, two, two types, so we can show you. One is the spicy jalapeno, which is, I've ordered that one because I love jalapeno. Or is it jalapeno? And Dan's gone for the Swiss mushroom. That's another favorite of mine as well. Absolutely love Swiss mushroom. So we'll wait for them to come out and we'll rate it. Supposed to be the best in Thailand. We'll see. 
it's here guys this is it the home of the burger as they say um, probably one of the best ones it's a smash burger i don't know about you but i'm personally i prefer smash burgers everybody's got their own choice i just think there's more flavor they're a bit more messy but i think there's more flavor okay let's have a taste oh yeah oh wow that is really good mm. crispy bun as well For those of you coming out here, let, uh, let me just say, um, Christmas Eve, I've managed to secure Coco and Jason. That's Sunday the 24th. That's just like a normal Sunday, but obviously it's not this time. Um, there was a bit of confusion with us. He thought I wanted to play Christmas Day, but he's already booked up. Christmas Day, and Hook Up Corner, we've got Eve's Baron, uh, and another guy playing. So that, that's, that should be a cracking day. And also guys, on Christmas Day, there's a, quite a few of us, we're going for a meal. We're going to Harlan's. Um, a lot of you, most of you paid deposits. Those who are booked, we're going to be meeting at 1 p.m. in Hookup Corner. It's a Sunday. It's two weeks, is it? Or is it three weeks away? Oh, it's two weeks away. So it's a Sunday, and what's going to happen is we're going to go for the meal. Then we're going to come back, and we're going to do the live show, a Christmas Day special. So that should be good fun. There's going to be over 30 of us going to the restaurant. Uh, and then that's Christmas Day. But don't forget, Christmas Eve. Is Coco and Jason and Hugo Corner, and also the live show as well. No, sorry, the live show is on the Sunday, on the Monday, because we moved it one day. So anyway, let's move on. Recently, in the um, when I say recently, I'm talking about now. There's a um, there's a German documentary came out by DW, a German company, and this story is an old story. It was it was big in Germany about you know beginning of the year, earlier on the year when the story came out. And it's about Pattaya's red light district, if you want to call it that. And to me, the whole thing smacks of a lot of hypocrisy. Um, for a start, um, nothing against German people, but that's always a problem in Germany. You know, Germany's one of the biggest um, brothels in Europe. Let's face it, it is. So um, it kind of does smack a bit of hypocrisy. The documentary itself, in my opinion, was a hit job. Now we're just coming on to Soy 6. Uh, yeah, it was a hit job because it's like as if they got some youth opportunity trainers, young guys, to come and do this sort of hatchet job. Uh, we're just going through so six now, but it's most of it's uh, closed because uh, we, we're still early in the day. But yeah, it was a hit job. Like I say, it was as if they sent some younger people down to, to film it. Everything really embarrassing about it. I'll put the camera on me because I don't want um, uh, to be filming when you shouldn't be filming. Today, or sorry, should I say yesterday, it was all over the Thai media. Uh, I think it resurfaced on YouTube. It, the story didn't get to the Thai people on the last time, so, so, so now they've seen it. I think YouTube have taken it down, to be honest. Um, I know we couldn't see it here in Thailand. I mean, you can get a VPN and the age of social media. You can always do that now. But it looks like the, the, the old video is being taken down. And this is going to... Oh, God, chilly in my eyes then. This is going to cause... Um, I, I wouldn't say a problem, because everything's in order anyway. But this is going to lead to a lot of uh, raid. I wouldn't say raids, checks. I hate using the word raid. Uh, a lot of checks and over the festive period for for tire bars, which is a bit unfortunate. It's an unfortunate how it surfaced the game, and, and the Thai people and the media caught onto it. Now the Thai, um, the, the Thai politicians, they're, they're, they're both. Um, oh, you know, clamp down on Pattaya, blah blah. Then the other the other side is like, okay, um, we need to legalise this. So, you know, that, that is a possibility that that could happen. There's a bill going through Parliament very soon. And um, we all thought that cannabis wouldn't be, would never pass, but that passed. So we'll see if that happens, then I suppose it's, it's, it's another good thing. Um, and it will stop all this kind of crap. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you very much for watching this one. I just thought I'd say my, my little piece there. Just beware of the eye season. Um, oh, sorry, of the peak season, which is coming up. And... Um, it is what it is, guys. It is what it is. Anyway, don't forget, Christmas Eve, if you're coming out here, Coco and Jason in Hookup Corner. We're sorting some out for New Year's Eve. I think we've got Coco, but not Jason. Uh, and don't forget, we've got um, uh, Eve's Power on, on Christmas Day. And plus, the Christmas meal. So those of you coming, make sure you are here for in Hookup Corner, 1 p.m. on Christmas Day. Guys, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.